tab nation. It's your new mustache man. Tab nation automation Tom. So today we're going to be doing some emoji kind of stuff, fancy letters or letters that normally aren't used and you have to know like certain numpad code, that kind of thing. Uh, so we're going to show two different ways to do this. Um, so yeah, let's jump into that code, shall we? And make sure to subscribe, throw in one, two videos at you, maybe three every week. Hit the thumbs up, that helps me, push me up so people see this. And hopefully gives me more subs, which helps me even more. So yeah. So let's say uh, I want to do a send command, and I want to send an emoji or whatever. Or, you know, just an icon kind of thing. Or uh, whatever you want to call them. So I have this right here. Uh, obviously the code will be in the description below, so you can check that out. So let's go to this website. We're going to start there. So as you see right here, I have alpha letter is what I'm going to be using, and heart. So let's go ahead and open that. Try to open it. So as you see, this website, uh, there's lots of them out there. So if you don't like this one, there's plenty more to find. This is just kind of the first one I stumbled across and been using ever since. Uh, yeah, so you got the little heart icon here. That's what we're using. Well, what I need is the Unicode number. So right there, you see U plus 2764. To go back to the code there you go u plus two seven six four and then the same thing with the alpha uh character so the website's pretty good they have a search box up here where you can just type in what you're looking for you'll probably get a lot of results you know if i type in hearts it's probably like a hundred different types of hearts you can use i'm guessing there's just so many out there uh it's pretty crazy so you can find your own style design uh but be careful because the design can change depending on the program. You'll, I'll do some examples showing you what I mean exactly by that. So this is what it looks like. So just a red heart. So remember that. All right. So if we're doing it this way, it does not need to be what's called UTF-8 with BOM. B-O-M. As long as I'm doing it this way, I have them in the little curly brackets. Uh, we're good to go. So I believe this is saved. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to run that. And we'll just use it in Notepad. Uh, we'll switch around here. So I'm going to do A. There's my uh, alpha letter. Space a little. I'll go with B. If I hit the right letter. B. So yeah, there you go. Now, as you see, I'm in Notepad++. The heart's not red. It's just a very basic, you know, heart shape looking thing. If I go to Notepad, pretty much the same thing. We're going to get that. But now let's say I jump over to, like, VS Code. I already showed you that. So I'll do B. But look, slightly different. It's still a white heart. But it's filled in. So yeah, it like really depends what program you're using. Uh, let's, let's take a look at Word. See what that looks like. Word will probably do it in full red, I would think. It's a little hard to type when I have letters assigned to a hotkey <laughs> that I need. Probably should have used the F keys like I normally do. Next time. Good. All right, yeah, let's take a look. Can you see? Yep. B. Yeah, so see, it really depends on the program you're using, on what style it's going to kind of spit out as. So Word does the one that we originally saw there, which I was kind of expecting. I actually hadn't tested that out, so yeah, there's that. Now, as you see down here... I have a ghost, but here I'm not using the whole actual code. I'm using like the actual like, I don't know, like letter or whatever, the, the picture of it. So we have this little ghost here, right? Well, I'm going to go ahead and push D. And we're getting like this gibberish here. Well, why is that? 
Well, the reason why is, like I said up here, if you're doing it this way, you don't need to save it as UTF-8 with bomb. But when you do it this way, you do. Now, you know, you're saying, which way should I do it? It really depends on you. Uh, a lot of people do it this way because it's just so simple. I, you know, I would obviously add a, um, a comment here so you remember because you're going to look at this and be like, I, I don't remember what 2764 is. Oh, it's a heart. So I definitely recommend adding your, uh, like a comment to it because then you're like going to really screw yourself up or whoever else is using your code and wants to make changes to it. So definitely do that. But down here, I don't need a comment because I can visually see it. So I like doing it this way just because I can visually see what I'm trying to send. So I like that. Also, real quick tidbit, I get to ask this from time to time of why I'm why I'm writing code in one line for each hotkey and how am I doing that? Well, if your uh, hotkey is only performing one single command, one action, you can actually do it this way. So if I ever have a hotkey I'm like this, where it's all just single commands, single action for each uh, hotkey, I'm going to do it this way because look how clean this looks. You know, it's going to be, you know, instead of six lines of code for my hotkeys, it becomes three lines. Less lines, usually the better. Not always the fact, though. <laughs> but yeah, as you see, we're just getting kind of some gibberish here uh, because it's translating that incorrectly. So we can go here, we go to File, Save As, and we're going to name it whatever, you know. Now save file type as so as you see like there's no unicode thing in here it's not going to be here uh you know you go up here there's nothing about bomb i got a lot of uh languages installed on my computer i'm realizing now that i haven't used them forever uh that's fine but there's no there's like no way to really do this notepad plus plus uh even if you go to js try to do file uh, save as same thing you know there's you get the exact same menu there's nothing no options here so the easiest way to do this is really just copy and paste your code and I just use notepad just because everybody has notepad pretty much don't know why you would uninstall that so you know throw my code over here and here I'm gonna go save as I'm gonna name it We'll just name it test. Text document, you know, there's only two options. Text document, we'll leave it like that. Um, and then just make sure we rename it to AHK. Uh, should probably close down the program so I can actually type a real A. There we go. But down here, you're going to see encoding. So by default, it should be in UTF 8, but we want it with bomb. And as you see, it's just one step down. So we're just going to click UTF-8 with bomb. Go in. There we go. And now we're going to save. Close that out. We don't need that. We'll just test in here. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to launch that. So it's the same code, everything. But as you saw when I did the ghost, it was gibberish. But now, look at that. I'm actually getting the ghost. So, honestly, which way you want to do it, it depends to you. This way is an extra step, not too hard, but I just like the vis visualization of it. Uh, so, yeah, let me know which way you're going to use. Uh, you know, I'm kind of curious if you agree with me doing it this way or if you're just going to do it this way just to save that extra step. And I don't know, I mean, this kind of looks cooler. It looks, you know, more Cody versus an actual, like, emoji or whatever being down here. So, yeah. All right, hope you guys got some good information out of this, can have some fun with it. Uh, if you need some questions answered, I didn't, didn't explain something very well, just let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next one.